Howdy Brewers. Today we're going to build a magnetic stirrer. So this is a computer hard drive fan. It's the biggest one I could get. Um, I think it's 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. Biggest one I could get. Um, and I also got a screen cover so then that way um, I can put a uh, my uh, Erlenmeyer flask for my yeast starter um, on top. These are just some spare square nuts and that's purely to act as a spacer so when the uh, the bottle, the Erlenmeyer flask sits on top um, this keeps it from sitting on the, uh, the fan motor stressing it out with weight. These are, these are just the screws to screw the top plate on the fan and the reason why these four things are separated uh, because they're rare earth magnets so they're really strong and I'll be gluing them uh, at evenly spaced points on the fan with some just some general purpose Tarzan grip and the reason why I'm building this is because my magnetic stirrer recently died uh, and I believe it cost way more than what it should have and so I am building my own for about oh, 12 and a half percent of the price so all up this cost ten dollars all this stuff um, and the magnetic stirrer I bought cost eighty so um, oh, the other thing I bought for this is uh, just a little plug um, because the plug from this one, from the, that came with it, was a two pin thing that I couldn't find a suitable outlet for. So uh, I bought this from JCar, just that, and it already uh, goes with um, an existing power outlet that I've got for my um, cold, cold water motor for when I'm recyc recirculating for my lagers. All right. So I'll put you on high speed while I put it all together and um, then you'll be able to uh, see how it's done. The, kit, the, the trick is to find where they stick to the outside. You can use any glue you like, but Tarzan's grip has never let me down. And I'm gluing two together because the fan turns at quite a speed and it might might actually spin it off if I don't glue both to each other. They're quite powerful. And so there you have it. This, um, don't worry about uh, this being loose or whatever. Um, as I said, the um, the Erlenmeyer flask actually sits on the four because it's, I've got a three litre bottle, so it actually sits around this. Um, so it only sits pretty much on the bolts, and the magnet will stir in between.